Hi, it's easy to do it as a video, I think. Look, if you think about the income statement or the traditional income statement, the income statement is just revenues and expenses, but what it's really doing is it's summarizing in one place the changes in retained earnings. And traditionally, we haven't really included on any of those statements changes in other components of owner's equity. Um, you know, mostly, sometimes it was in the statement of changes in equity. But that, that now includes less because some of the stuff's been moved to other comprehensive income. So let's just explain what's going on. You've got a whole bunch of owner's equity accounts. Think about those that change due to performance. So not the financing, issuing shares, but actual wealth changes, changes in assets and liabilities due to operations of the business. A large part of that is revenues and expenses. In other words, they're changes in the retained earnings account. But there are changes to the other accounts. For example, foreign currency translation reserve, um, revaluation surplus. So rather than just sticking them straight to equity, well, they do go straight to equity, but those changes are summarized in the other comprehensive income section. So it would actually make more sense to think of uh, the statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income as a sort of matrix um, where changes in retained earnings are in this column and the bottom is called profit and changes in revaluation surplus are here, changes in foreign currency translation reserve is here um, and the total of all of those other columns is called other comprehensive income. Does that make more sense?